you're someone needs to get done I'm on notice, hoping that you don't run You think I'm tepid, but I'm misdiagnosed Cause I'm a stalker, I seen all of your posts ah, And I'm just tryna play it cool now But that's not what I want Wow, it's really pretty, you can see the side of the building here Hello and welcome to my uni vlog, my uni moving in vlog. I'm Melissa Ang. If you guys don't know me, I'm originally from Singapore, born and raised. And this is my first time in the UK and I'm here for my university studies. I'm currently studying media studies in Portsmouth University. It is the first day of induction week, which is like an orientation week for all the students. And I've been here for about six days now. And I figured that I would give you guys some tips and tricks on moving in, what to pack. Really for any international student or any student moving to a new place for uni. So I'm currently in my student accommodations kitchen slash dining room. Um, we have like the dining table over here, the whole kitchen is over here and there are two sofas, one of which is there and one I'm sitting on. I'm currently staying at the Catherine house. I'm staying in a flat uh, shared by four other people, so there's five of us in total and this is really just a shared kitchen. Uh, right now my roommates are out during their orientation week. I don't really have much to do today so I came back a little bit earlier than the rest. But I figured I'd take this opportunity to show you guys what this place really looks like, what you should prepare, what you should pack. So without further ado, let me bring you guys around. I'm just gonna show you the living area. It's a little bit messy because we've been living here for about five days now and you know, we drink, we eat here, so. All right, so first off, this is the kitchen. You would come in from this door, and we straight away have two fridges. One is a normal refrigerator with, with fully stocked, and then one is a freezer, uh, where you can freeze things. Great. Here we have the hob, what the Brits call it. I call it an induction cooker. We have the oven, we have a microwave oven, we have a few cabinets up here. And in the flat that I'm living in, we have five students per flat. So we luckily have five like cabinets for each student, so there's no issue about uh, space sharing. So this is my cabinet, I've stocked it up with like instant noodles and things from home and whatnot. For the Catherine house, they don't really provide you with any pots and pans, plates, utensils. It's just a bare kitchen. So if you're moving in, be sure to pack in at least like a plate, a bowl, forks and spoons, cooking, cooking utensils like a ladle or spatula, and of course your pots and pans so you can cook stuff so you don't have to eat out all the time, especially if you're on a student budget. Uh, another thing to remember to bring is a kettle. If you're, you don't know if your flatmates would want to share, then maybe it's wise to get your own kettle because here in the UK, I'm not sure if the water, the tap water is safe for drinking. And then you can like the other stuff like ironing board and all of that. The uni actually provides an ironing board and a, a broom, a mop, a dustpan. Oh wait, actually they didn't provide the dustpan, we had to buy it. There's an ironing board, but there's no iron. So we probably have to chip in to get one of those. That's just the mop bucket there. All the stuff that you have to pack for the kitchen. You know, salt, pepper, the, the basic spices and oils, cooking oils, rice. You just you can just buy it at the supermarket here. So I'll show you my room. It's a little bit messy, but this is my room and these are my like roommates' rooms. So first thing you come in and you see, okay, that's my pajamas on the floor. I'll pick up later. But that dustbin was from the kitchen that I sort of borrowed. But first thing you see is like a chair and there's a desk and then there's a bed. And that's pretty much it. That's your like that's your whole living space. A little space for you to charge your your phones and your laptops. I, I just left my camera there and all my accessories and there's a shoe rack or a clothing rack if you want to use it for clothes. And then here is where I normally do my makeup because this is 
really the only source of lighting, natural lighting that's coming in. So I just have like my makeup stuff laid out here with the little mirror where I do my makeup every morning. And we have a very nice view of the park right opposite our block. And then there's a little heater that comes with your room so it can keep you nice and toasty. We got drawers for your studying materials, a cupboard, a wardrobe where I've just tossed some of my tops there, there are sweaters there, there's my bags, more clothes. And then there's a hanging rack where I put like warmer coats and like sweaters and jackets and stuff like that. Full size mirror over here so you can get dressed. And then right behind me, there's a toilet that's automatically lit up when, whenever you open the door. Face wash. Also, don't forget to bring your, your normal regular face wash because you, they might not carry the face wash that you use. So I use Oxy which I don't think, I don't know, I've not seen it here but I stocked up like several bottles of this just in case they don't have it. But remember to pack your toothpaste and your toothbrush. And yeah, over here I just have my skincare stuff. So I have the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay from Amazon. I have apple cider vinegar for that. Uh, I went to buy shampoo and then cotton pads, sh like shavers. And yeah, and like soap. Remember to pack soap or at least bring it because you move in like if your flight touches down a little bit late and you really want to take a shower but you don't have any showering stuff, it's a little bit, it's a little frustrating. So at least bring like a bar of soap to last you for a while so you don't have to immediately go to the supermarket and lug a bunch of stuff. Also, you bring your own bag or you have to pay for a recyclable bag. Remember to bring a bag when you go down to the supermarket because they will make you pay for a tote bag. Yeah, just save the earth and like bring your own bag. So over here, like right above my bed, there's this huge notice board. It's like a felt material so you can just staple like your assignments, your timetable and stuff like that. And there's the same one right above your study. So yeah, this is the entire room. It's alright, it's an alright size. Yeah, it's kind of cold here, I wasn't prepared. I brought a lot of summer clothes but do remember to bring like a good coat or if you don't have one, just buy one from Primark. It's pretty cheap here. And also don't forget to bring your qualifications like for example, like your, your study documents, your personal documents, your identification documents and like all the important stuff just in case they need to check or you have to register with the police or register with the university. Like either have soft copies, hard copies, bring copies of your documents just in case they, they want to like verify you and stuff like that. I think if you are given the opportunity to study abroad, just absorb as much as you can. Absorb the cultures, the way people live their lives, why do they they do the things they do and how the students learn and if you're Singaporean like me just try to be accustomed to the new foods I guess I really miss home-cooked food and the local food but you have your whole life to eat home-cooked food so with that I wish all uni students the best when they try to settle down into a new environment thank you for watching my little vlog I hope this has helped somebody and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye!